cancers this is gonna be a look at october 25th through the 27th for you i hope that this reading is helpful of course keep in mind it is general if you need a personal and you want one with me specifically all my information to reach me on my socials and my website to book readings will be listed below so just check that out and let's get into the reading give me one card for the theme for my cancers Release toxic relationships. Why did I feel like this is going to come out for you guys too? We have lead by example at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So this is, and I kind of saw this for Leos too. So if you were dealing with a Leo at any point, um, or if you have Leo in your chart, I definitely will look at that. But this is, this feels like either some of you guys are in the process of completely letting go and when I say completely like you may be halfway there <laughs> where it's like you realize that things are just becoming way too overwhelming and you're ready to be like you know what f it I'm good I'm just gonna separate myself from this or you've already done it and it's just the like lingering emotions or feelings or even subconscious thoughts that may be uh keeping you a little bit stuck and when I say this this could be in the sense of like resentment for that person you may you know have a lot of questioning or questions as to why this person may have wronged you in any way or you may even have questions as to why things may have played out the way it did you probably never really got those answers from this individual so it's like this time frame is putting an emphasis on letting go and letting God <laughs> essentially because in this situation, some of you may not get those answers ever again, especially if you know you won't. It's prioritizing your mental health now and not fixating on things that you can't change. This is also making sure that you're clear that in order for you to make people around you believers or to help people around you, let's say that there's a need for you to make sure that you're more so showing them the way instead of feeling like you need to physically help them because I get this energy of some of you having family members right who like depend on you financially or it's like they're leeching off you in some ways or let's just be honest I, I do see this too some of you are giving advice to other people like you're a life coach or maybe you're a reader like me and it's like you're not personally taking the advice okay not trying to read or come for anybody watching this, okay? If you know that you've been doing that and you need to lead by example, then just do what you need to do. But it's saying that like some of you are either giving advice to people or you're trying to help other people when you really need to help yourself. Whore into yourself and that will show other people what they need to do. Or prioritize yourself just in general. But anyways, <laughs> getting into the reading, the present situation, I have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a very positive card to have. This speaks of a turnaround in energy where things may have felt more so like resistant, like you feeling as if maybe the universe may have been giving you a lot of pushback on things. It's like things are starting to evolve in terms of the, the climate the energy that you're in and things seem more favorable for you. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? What's favorable during this time frame? You could be in better energy. Yeah. Um, so with this, <laughs> wait, why did the six of cups come up? Five of cups. So I'm seeing two scenarios. A set few of you are more so going through the process of being happier and upbeat after realizing that you've been in this space of being emotionally stuck and needing to release the resentment after effects when it comes to a past situation or another scenario I'm seeing you guys may actually hear from this person especially if it wasn't that long ago you guys stopped talking to each other you may hear from them but it's going to be favorable because it's going to give you the insight that you need when it comes to whether or not there's a potential for you to fix this or move forward with it. It's going to give you a lot of clarity where you guys may have been very confused for a bit. Some of you also may turn around and get back into like a business that you may have had at one point that you may have given up on. Uh, maybe because of things that you were going through or whatnot, but I see like a turnaround in your personal energy that gets you going again. 
Now, recent past energy, I have the Hermit card in reverse. So there may have been a lack of you really going within, right? Um, there may have been a need for you to kind of take some time to contemplate on things. Um, some of you may have also not valued, you didn't value some sort of break that you may have been on from an individual. This may have been a great opportunity for you to sit back, process things, get an understanding of what moves you want to make. But some of you, you didn't really take advantage of that. You didn't really see it as, as that. Okay, you may have really wanted to get back in contact with a particular person. I have the Queen of Cups clarifying that. So you may have been more emotional in your feels. Not really wanting to be off of a break with someone. Yeah, you may have been disappointed with how things turned out. You may have also felt like you didn't really think things through with a business idea. You wish you would have thought things through. But what I see for the future, I have the Three of Cups in reverse. So a lot of you are going to turn somebody down who wants to come back around and make their presence known. Okay, you're going to turn this person down, especially if they keep trying to involve you in a third party situation. And when I say this, this is them being confused about whether or not they want to still be with the person that they have kids with. That's their ex. That's their wife, husband, whoever. Um you guys are getting real tired of this person deciding to pop up randomly, say little things to you, try to get things going and then be inconsistent. So a lot of you will be turning that down. You may also be cutting a certain friend off or cussing a certain friend out because you realize that they're fake. Okay. This being aware of the crowd that you keep. You have the two of wands that flew out. This is you making a final decision to be like, you know what? F that. I'm tired of the, the continuous games. I'm not going to keep giving you the energy and the wherewithal to think that you can control me. Now, what I see for outside influences, I do have the queen of swords in reverse. So lies, somebody's lies could be causing you to be really bitchy with them. And when I say that, this is like being snappy with them, going off on them, not responding. Like you may be acting completely different towards this individual because of the fact that yeah like they're you may be feeling like they're not deserving of your energy anymore um another outside influence could be you feeling like you don't have enough clarity on particular things could be causing you to move a little bit different i'm just clean the swords in reverse Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you could be feeling like you can't trust someone. What may be influencing you to get on your stuff too is the fact that a lot of you are just in a space where you feel kind of lost. Let's just be honest. Some of you are lost career-wise. What should you be doing that's going to make you the money so that you could be secure and stable for you and your family or for you in general? See, I got the Ten of Cups that came out. But actions you should take during this time frame with the, no, not the queen, the king of cups. So we have the, oh, I thought we had the queen out. Oh yeah, we do. Queen of cups here. So with the king of cups being here, um, this is prioritizing you, but your emotional well-being. Some of you are like harboring your feelings in and acting as if you're unbothered or acting as if certain things don't like I said, aggravates you, but all that's doing is setting you up for one of those like explosive moments where whenever things get too much for you, even the littlest thing is going to make you snap, especially during this Aries full moon. You want to be very careful with how your energy is being put out. Okay. Now what I see for challenge that may come up, we have the nine of cups in reverse. So the challenge may be the fact that you're feeling as if you're not getting your desired outcome. You could be wanting things to go one way and things may be going completely different. And this mainly could be because of a person being um, like hard to work with, being difficult. The things that you desire, you may feel like it's taking forever to come your way, but it's not that it's taking a long way to come your way. For a lot of you, it's just you need to make some personal decisions 
that could allow the universe to manifest those things into your life. It's kind of like a lot of you know what you want, but like the movements that you've been making have not been necessarily aligning with the things that you say you want. And it has a lot to do with personal decisions you guys need to make here. Okay, some of you are tired of the ups and downs in your love life. The games, yeah, the manipulators. Feeling like the things that you want to manifest are taking a minute to, to come to the forefront. Now, outcome, I do have the king of wands in reverse. So, outcome... You may be really pissed at a fire sign specifically, or they may be pissed at you. Regardless of the zodiac sign, somebody's pissed. Okay. Also, this could be more so like the sexual energy between you and another individual may be like a little bit off here. Okay. Well, has the king of wands here in reverse. Six of cups in reverse. You may be pissed at the person you have kids with. Because they're not making it easy for you to co-parent. Or it's like they play games in terms of whether or not you guys are going to get back together. You guys may get so agitated with how things have been going. That it's going to make you start to think about the long term. And what you need to stop giving your energy to. Especially if it's not reciprocating anything back. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs the video up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.